David Hunter, the British pensioner who killed his terminally ill wife in Cyprus, has been released from custody. The 76-year-old uh, had already spent 19 months in custody, so uh, has already served the majority of a two-year sentence that he had been uh, given earlier today. The former coal miner from Northumberland had admitted killing his wife Janice but denied murder. I'm joined by our Europe correspondent Adam Parsons. Adam, uh, j just clarify for us why he's been released there. I mean, clearly uh, I, I mentioned it a, a little bit, but uh, why he's being released as we speak and, and a bit of the background of this, uh, this story. Well, he's been released because he was given a two-year sentence for manslaughter. Uh, and the, the rule of thumb in Cyprus is that you do 10 months uh, in custody for every year that you're given. So, in other words, that would come out at about 20 months. Well, he's already served 19 uh, in, uh, in remand. Uh, and the judge effectively said, well, he's shown good behaviour. I think the judge's remarks on this are really very, very interesting as well. We've, we've just got these. R remember, the background to David Hunter and his wife, uh, Janice, left for Cyprus, uh, Cyprus rather, about 20 years ago after his retirement, lived very happily. Then she suffered from blood cancer. Uh, and, and what is agreed by all sides is that he did kill her. Um, uh, and that he says that he asphyxiated her because her suffering was so intense that she had begged him uh, to end her life. Now, the prosecution has said that they didn't see any evidence of this, but the judge... Uh, he said this is a crime that goes against human life, taking it as a crime. But he also said this is not a case acting out of animosity or differences. Uh, before us is a unique case of taking human life on the basis of feelings of love with the aim of relieving the person of their suffering. This was a complicated case because the, the court in Paphos heard that they'd never had a case put like uh, put in front of a Cypriot court such as this before. They looked at precedents in, for instance, New Zealand and indeed the United Kingdom in trying to come up with a, a verdict. So David Hunter was convicted of manslaughter, not of murder, which the prosecution uh, had suggested and has now been uh, released. Also, we've had uh, a reaction from his lawyer, who uh, uh, speaking on behalf of Mr Hunter, thanked the, the, the Cypriots uh, for coming up with this decision, said he was enormously uh, relieved. We've also had a reaction from uh, Leslie Cawthorn. Now, Leslie Cawthorn is the, uh, the daughter of David and, and Janice Hunter, he said, I'm elated and relieved uh, that my darling dad has been released. The past 90 months have been a living nightmare. Uh, she said, for our family, today is the start of us being able to rebuild our lives. Uh, David Hunter is a, is a former miner uh, who was very, very popular in the community that he, he left behind in order to start this new life uh, with his wife. He did try to end his own life after killing his wife. He took an overdose, but when medics arrived at the, the family home, they actually revived him uh, starting this this process which which ends today the question of course will be what happens to uh, to mr hunter next what is his decision about how to uh, to take on the next stage of his life but i think for the moment he is simply elated as his daughter said that this has come to an end uh, and reflecting his daughter and him on what he refers to as the kindness of strangers. A huge outpouring of support has been extended to Mr Hunter from people in the UK, in Cyprus, and indeed, so they say, from around the world. Adam, thank you.